So hold your questions to the end if you can. Um, I, I will be answering them 100%. And if there are any, any times that you're confused about something that's on the screen or something's not clear and you'd like to ask a question about that when I'm on a particular you know, section or segment of um, showing you this, please feel free to ask a question then as well. All right, so um, what do you think of the software so far? Let me know in the box. Have you been able to jump in and, and get access to it? Um, what's been uh, happening? Now, if you have any support uh, queries, um, my support isn't in charge of this launch, but um, if you do have any, you can get in touch with my support here and they will follow up with um, the staff uh, over at Audience Social. So if you do need support, you can always email me here and we'll, we'll support you and help you um, to get access or, or whatever um, you need help with. And my support is sambeckersupport.com. Cool. So um, who's got in so far? What have you thought so far? Hi, Greg. Good to have you on. And uh, Eric, yes, we're starting. <laughs> um, can you can you hear me? Hopefully you can. Are we starting? Hopefully you can hear me. Um, so what have you thought so far of the software? Let me know. Put a one in the box if you've accessed it yet. Put a two in the box if you have not yet accessed it. Cool. Um, some ones, mostly twos though. Okay, cool. So um, maybe many of you haven't yet got access to this. So what I'll do is I'll show you a demonstration of how it works today. Um, this should give you a good insight into how you can use this. And um, then after that, we'll take some questions. Now, um, if you would like any, um, uh, we'll, we'll go through and do a, do a demonstration now. Okay, cool. So um, where this software is useful, this is useful for you if you are in any sort of online marketing, digital sales, if you're doing any sort of retargeting over Facebook, if you want to test a offer versus another offer, this is a, a good um, a good option to use when you're doing that. Um, obviously, uh, one of the best examples of how you can test different links is, say for example, you are doing a opt-in campaign, okay? So you've got two opt-in landing pages. You can test one of those landing pages versus the other, and the software will automatically segment those landing pages, and it will actually give you stats on how many times each one was clicked. Then what you can do is you can see how many leads were generated on each individual different landing page, and you can figure out from there which is the highest converting landing page. This is an example of one of the ways that I would use the software, and I've used softwares like this in the past that have allowed that testing. The unique part of Audience Social and why you probably got access is that not only does it allow you to test links, it also allows you to geo-segment or geo-target people. So you can show certain offers to people in certain areas. And on top of that, it actually gives you the ability to retarget people. Okay, so when someone goes, they click on your link, either in an email, in an ad, what you can do is because the software is set up the way it is, you can actually um, advertise through Facebook, through other different networks and advertisement to those people that have clicked on that link. You can do it for affiliate offers. You don't need access to the code. And this is the big um, unique point of the software that, that it gives you the ability to do that, which is really, really cool. So let's start by creating a new campaign today. Now, when you're creating a new campaign, you just need to add in a name for the campaign. So it might be in this case, we might uh, do, um, say for example, I'm running an e-commerce site. So we, we're running dealman.co.nz. Dealman.co.nz is a multi-million dollar e-commerce website. They make over a million dollars per year. They sell clothes, clothes like this, and they import them from AliExpress. You may have uh, known this. Now, um, obviously this type of selling right now, it's really popular. It's been always really popular. It's just changed. And now it's gone into digital. A lot of people are now using this um, as well. So what you what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to act like we're testing two different offers today. So what we might do in order to um, do this is we might add in deal man campaign. Now, um, if we were an affiliate for this, we could uh, we could tell this as well. But let's just use this as an example. So um, you can add some custom message in here. This is custom HTML. You could add an image here if you wanted to. You can add anything into this custom HTML area or you can leave it blank. And what it'll do is it'll have that in the redirect when the link is redirecting. Now we have the page title. So the page title might be Dealman um, uh, website. Uh, meta title might be Deal Man uh, website. And um, the description, th this is quite, it's not very important. It's just going to show up when people visit the redirect as it's redirecting. So um, 
this is an e-commerce store uh, and deal land might be our keyword. Then we can, get, then can go next and this is where we add in our different links. Now whether you want to test a two different um, two different types of links or just one is completely optional. So this is the testing part. Okay, so the testing part here is that um, you basically uh, are able through this to test different links. Is that clear by everyone? Put a one in the box if that's clear. And I want to make sure this is clear. Um, uh, and this replay, that there will be a webinar replay uh, for this that will be used. Okay, is this clear? Put a one in the box if it's clear. Put a two in the box if it's not clear. Uh, I want to go through each of the three different things that this does. Now, if this isn't clear, I'm seeing a couple of twos. If this isn't clear, let me explain it again. So this is your default URL for PC, all right? This is just a random link. So let's say, for example, we want to, um, you know, retarget this link here, okay? This one right here. We add this in here, and then we make sure that this is mobile responsive. As long as this is mobile responsive, which it appears to be, yes, it is mobile responsive, then what we're going to do is we're going to add the same link in here. All right. If you did have a website that wasn't mobile responsive, the reason that they've added this default URL mobile is so you can add a different link to a mobile responsive website so it's going to show up on a mobile device. Now, if you just wanted to send people to one link, all right, one link, we don't need to fill out anything else. However, if you want to test an offer, so if you want to test an offer, now testing an offer is basically you've got traffic coming from Facebook, for example. That traffic is going to an opt-in page, or in this case, it's going to an e-commerce product. We want to see which product is going to be the best seller, either this one, this one here, or this one here. All right, we're going to redirect our traffic, and we want to find out which is going to be the best seller, for example. Okay, so... Um, and an example of this would be a, you know, a sales page that has a different headline. You'd put in one version of the sales page here with a different headline and one version of the sales page here with a different headline. And what the software will do is it'll send half of the people that you get, half of the traffic to this URL, and half of the other traffic to this URL. So you can see based on how many sales you make or how many opt-ins you get, which is the most popular. Then from there, because you know which is the most popular, then you now know um, what you should be focusing more of your time on. So you might send all of your traffic then to the most popular offer instead of um, uh, you know, uh, what you may have in the first place. So it's a, a way of testing your offers and getting an increased conversion rate and selling more. Does that make sense? Put a one in the box if that now makes sense. Cool. Now, if you want to just use this feature right here, you can just use this. You don't need to use the other two features of this product. If you just want to use this, you can go through and you can just test offers. However, if you do want to use retargeting and you want to use country geotargeting, then you can do that too. Now, all you need to do before we leave and before we go next is we need to add in our link rotation number. This is how many links we want to rotate. So say for example, if you had filled out three links, you'd put a three in here. We filled out two, so we'll put a two in here today. Now we're doing our retargeting. Now retargeting is set up into five main companies. Google AdWords. Google AdWords, it's basically that you'll see all over the web. It might be on news websites, it might be on other websites. Now those websites that are showing Google Ads, they've installed a Google AdSense code. Now, Google pays them every time that someone clicks on a link. And Google gets paid every time that that person gets sent to a website of Google's choosing. Okay, so Google is the middleman here. They basically connect up buyers of traffic and sellers of traffic. Okay, so if you wanted to retarget your audience through Google, you would be able to have ads that would show up. Now, all you need to do is you just need to go through to Google AdWords. You need to set up your retargeting there, and then you'll be able to add in your code. Okay, there's a retargeting code for Google. You'll be able to add that in. Same with AdRoll. AdRoll is a website. It's adroll.com. AdRoll.com is a 
website that brokers between Google, it brokers between Facebook, and a number of other uh, companies as well. So if you have ad roll set up already for your business, you don't need to worry about Google AdSense. Now the solution that I recommend doing is Perfect Audience. I recommend Perfect Audience because they have, again, a wide variety of targeting options. You can use Perfect Audience for Facebook, you can use it for Google, and it's really easy to set up. Right? It really is easy to set up. It makes it so much easier than going through Facebook and setting up retargeting. You can get a 14-day free trial, and it's a really low-priced um, solution for doing this. Cool. So retargeting is basically where people, when, once people have visited our website, then we can send the, or basically advertise to them around the web. Is that kind of clear? Put a one in the box if that's clear. The benefit of retargeting is that once you start retargeting someone, you're going to see an increase in conversions. We see it on all of our product launches. When we retarget people around the web, because they see our ad popping up in multiple places, we increase our conversions substantially. Okay, so um, that's a real benefit as well. Now, is everyone hearing my audio? Put a one in the box if you're hearing my audio. Um, okay, I just plugged in my mic. I think it might have been that my mug, uh, mic unplugged for a second there. Uh, is it better now? It's a little shotty. Um, very static. Okay, one sec. Let me just try something here. Let me just try something really quickly. I'm going to go to my audio settings, and I'm just going to have a wee play around here and see if I can make it. How is this now? Is my audio better now? Okay, I think my mic is breaking. <laughs> Not ideal. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, unplug my microphone from my computer, and I'm just going to use the Max computer thing here. All right. Better, but different. Okay. There might be a bit of an echo just because it's going through the computer now, but I think this will be better. So, this is basically... <laughs> Marty. Marty said RIP. <laughs> All right. So, um, so this is the... the um, you know, retargeting option here. So let me go ahead and go to Facebook and I'll show you here how to get your retargeting code from Facebook. Now, as long as you have a Facebook account, you can do this. I recommend getting a Facebook advertisers account, but uh, you'll be able to do this either way. So this is how you start your retargeting campaign. The key with Facebook is that basically what you want to do is you first of all want to go into this um, Facebook uh, advertising portal. You'll see that we have different traffic coming through. Now, what I have is I actually have these things called retargeting lists. Now, a retargeting list is like an opt-in list. Okay, an opt-in list. You've got email. Um, you've got a lot of opt-in emails, for example. With this, we've got a bunch of different, um, you know, uh, different. What are they called? Um, uh, pixels. Okay, so uh, Facebook records how many people you've pixeled to advertise to. So say, for example, you use the software, you use the audience social software, 1,000 people click on audience social's link, right, your audience social link. Now, let's say that not all of them are on Facebook. Let's say that 800 people are actually on Facebook out of the 1,000 that click. So Facebook will record 800 people they've located who are on Facebook um, who then you can advertise to. So if you start generating more people into your retargeting list, it means that you're able to advertise to more people through Facebook and you'll be able to get a cheaper amount for that advertising because Facebook knows that you are the one that has pixeled these people and because you've pixeled them, it means that they've probably visited your website and they're very qualified, very targeted, so you don't have to worry about bidding against other people for them. Facebook will give you a much better rate. So... We need to go into the Power Editor, click Power Editor, and then after that, we're going to go into our pixels, okay, our pixels. Now, we're going to get a little code, and we're going to add that into the software. So, we go into our Power Editor, we cross all of this, leave, and then go Tools. Now, you'll see in Tools, we have pixels. When you go into Tools, click Pixels. It's now going to load up our pixels. Now it's showing our pixel activity. As you can see here, 
I have a number of websites that have pixels placed on them. I'm retargeting on average about 400 people per day, right? About 400 people per day get retargeted with my pixel. So that means that per day I'm adding 400 more people to my advertisements that, or the people that I can advertise to. And I'm doing that through Facebook. Now most pixels have um, about a 90 day period where they're active. So a pixel will last for about 90 days, all right? Then it'll drop off. So you've got a 90 day window to retarget that person who you gather into Facebook and you can advertise to them for 90 days and then after that if they don't buy that's it they drop off all right so let's get our code let's get our code so we go into actions we go into uh, view pixel and then this is the code right here all right now what you're seeing right now is you're seeing uh, and just to clarify this for I got a couple of questions just to clarify this you're seeing retargeting for a number of different URLs these are the different URLs that I'm retargeting for right now. So um, th this is for different individual websites, all right? Um, you would do this for different individual affiliate campaigns, individual websites. Anything that you've got set up online, you should be retargeting because it means that you'll be able to make more money, all right? I hope that makes sense. From there, we've got our code. We need to go back into our Create New Campaign menu, paste in that code, see it there? It's pasted, that's all, and we're done, right? That's all, we're done, we click next. Now we need to choose to geo-target a country. Now if you don't want to geo-target any countries, you want all of the countries to be geo-targeted, select all country, all right? Really easy, just select all country. If you want to choose multiple countries and you don't want other countries going through and clicking, then you can choose which targets will be able to be redirected, all right? Now, we're going to choose all countries today. I recommend using all countries unless you've got a specific offer or local business you're working with. And then click Create Campaign. Now, a campaign is created, okay? It's done. Now, all we can do is we can go down to our campaign, all right, Deal Man, down to our campaign, click Get URL, type in a code. It can be random. It can be, you know, specific. I'm just going to put in some random uh, uh, letters and then click generate link. The software is now going to generate what's called a short code link. It's a tracking URL that will allow the software to retarget. It will also allow the software not only to retarget, but it will also allow it to rotate different links. So let's test this out. We click on this, we click paste the link in here, and then we're gonna wait for it to rotate. Now it takes about five seconds in order to uh, rotate, right? About five seconds in order to uh, rotate. Then from there it's going to send us to the URL. Now the reason it takes a delay is that it takes time to drop that pixel. If we did it faster, it wouldn't be guaranteed that that pixel would drop for all browsers. So there is a slight delay and yes that is a disadvantage. But the benefit of it is far greater than the disadvantage that you'll receive from a slight delay. Now let's do it again. Let's test it. We've got one offer. Remember that offer. Remember that offer we just saw. Now we're, re we're reloading this link again and now we see a new offer. Okay, you see how that works? We now see a new offer. So it's rotating the links. You can test this for yourself. I'll put it in chat right now. You can test this for yourself and you can see how this link works. Now the pixel over Facebook is not unique to any particular campaign, all right? It's not unique to any particular campaign. You're gonna use the same pixel um, for your different, uh, for for your, each of your campaigns, basically. The same pixel, and it will track based on which URL um, the, the pixel has come from. Now, Mario, there isn't any way of speeding it up, unfortunately. Um, I've looked into that with the guys. There isn't any way of speeding it up because um, Firefox takes a bit of time. Firefox, on average, to drop the pixel, takes about three to four seconds. And if we, uh, on slow internet connections, if we were to make the link go faster, it would mean that it would not drop the pixel correctly. So that part of the software probably wouldn't work. Um, if you, we, we can make it instant for the, the testing, um, but right now, we're, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, we're able to do that. So from here, what we're able to do is we're able to go to statistics, and we can then see which campaign has been started. We can see where it's come from. We can see uh, our link. 
and we can see the traffic quality as well. So you can then see which uh, IP addresses these are coming from, uh, whereabouts in the world people are loading this link. I can see a number of people on the webinar have already loaded this link already into this um, as well, and we can monitor this per campaign. So we can go to Dealman campaign, we can see this specific campaign, and that is done. Right, so we can see here, we've got a few people that have already loaded up our link, been retargeted, so you'll start receiving ads for me if I was to advertise to you, and then, um, then from there you're good to go. Yes, um, Firefox is the one that doesn't allow you to do it faster. Uh, we've looked at every way of doing that faster, but we need to make sure that it works with all browsers. Chrome is really fast, uh, but Firefox is slow, so we need to make sure that that link will go for it all. So that's basically how the software works. Then once you've gathered your retargeting list, You'll then load up some advertisements, okay, you'll click create ad, and you'll decide to target using retargeting that audience that you've built up. Uh, once you've got, I believe, over 100 people, you can start retargeting to that audience, and then you can start um, making money from that campaign. Okay, so I've gone on for about 20, 20 minutes here. Are there any questions? Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Put in the questions and answers right now whether you have any questions. And uh, let's, let's take some questions. What I want to do as well is I want to show you um, uh, something really cool that's, uh, that we are about to do soon as well. Um, this is a uh, basically a, um, a, a new training program that starts tomorrow. I've um, got eight spots left, and I'll, I'll show you what that is in just a second as well. And it'll help you to understand how to um, you know, market to your audience, promote to your audiences, um, through the software and there's a few other bits that it'll do as well, but I'll go over that soon Is there any questions that you have or would like answered uh, about the software? Cool, thanks Mario. Um, yes, <laughs> it's pretty cool um, Now the question from Mario is Sam with this software I'm able to retarget any site because the link created will cookie them confirm that that is correct as I want to purchase resale rights and need this point to be confirmed. Mario, yes, that's correct. You can target any website on the web. Affiliate offers, um, you know, you could target ESPN if you wanted to, and um, you'd be able to, you know, target people through that site, build a pixel list for that particular um, website. The only thing is you need to be sending the traffic, that's all. But you can retarget to any site as long as you've sent the traffic. Yes, this webinar is being recorded. How do you retarget after getting a list? So after generating a list, for example, me for, for uh, Michael, good, good question. Me, for example, I have a subscriber list, all right? My subscriber list is um, uh, communicated by me. I communicate to them through email, right? So I send out emails to them. I write emails on a daily basis, and I send out emails to my subscriber list. Now, what I do, all I need to do, the only change that I need to make is that all I need to do is create a retargeting pixel with the software, grab the link from the software, and email that so that link to my subscribers. That's all, I just need to email that link to my subscribers. Once I've emailed that link to my subscribers, they can then be retargeted. So what it means is that I can now advertise to them over Facebook, all right? So that is that is um, basically how you do it um, through uh, you know sending emails. Uh, yes, this will be available later, Eric. Yep, um, I'm going to be putting this in the members area. Now, so if you have two totally different products, the audiences would be combined because of the single pixel. No, um, uh, uh, Michael. Good question, though. The way that it, Facebook works is that they can identify which URL that um, person has come from. All right, so it actually it actually shows you how many uh, people are retargeted for that particular URL, all right? Not as an overall, they show overall stats and the pixel is the same, but they'll do it by the URL. Can I use Audience Social to retarget referral links? Yes, you can, Brooks. Yep, so if you've got an affiliate link, all you do is you set up an affiliate link within the software as your URL, like a JVZoo affiliate link. You go through the same process and you can then retarget people for an affiliate offer. Cool, Stephen, um, now I'm gonna go through how to use this software effectively on the next webinar, but basically the software itself, it's really quite straightforward. 
if you're retargeting people, you're advertising to them on Facebook, um, you're going to see sales come through. All right, you're going to see more people coming through. So it's a, a no-brainer. Retargeting is a no-brainer. You should do it for all of your websites and your, um, you know, affiliate offers that you send out as well. I do retargeting for some affiliate offers, not all, some. I should do it for all. Um, it does take some time though, because you need to create the ads for your retargeting campaign. That's the reason that sometimes I don't do a. a um, uh, retargeting campaign for affiliate offers because uh, you know it's it just takes too long to create the ads for that particular campaign. So I make sure I focus on big campaigns. So I make sure that my the time I invest is going to be worthwhile. So what you need to do is you basically need to create ads, add them into Facebook. You then need to send out or scatter that link wherever you think your audience is. It could be through your email. It could be you know uh, through somewhere else an ad maybe. Um, then what you do is from there you need to use the software. Okay, to then um, uh, do the retargeting. It's going to do the retargeting through the link that you get. Send out the link everywhere, and then you'll be able to increase the profits that you get for different offers because of the retargeting you're doing. Cool. Um, uh, Daniel, super new to retargeting. What is the best resource that you can learn on how to do it start to finish? Uh, Daniel, what I'm going to be going through in just a moment is I'll show you what I'll be doing. But if you want a low-cost low solution, um, I am going to talk to a friend of mine, and he has a low-cost uh, um, solution to re learn retargeting. Uh, he, he released it, I believe, about one to two months ago, and it's quite a good course. So I'll see if I can get that for you. That's what I would recommend using as a retargeting um, a resource. But if, if everyone wants some training on this, what I can do is I can get I can talk to him, and that's a full step-by-step -step course on how to do it. Uh, yes, Greg, this can work through an autoresponder. Yep. If using Facebook advertising, um, do you have to retarget manually to custom audiences I create? Um, if using Facebook advertising only, do you have to retarget manually? To, now, yes, you have to... Facebook will gather a retargeting list. Then you basically go in here, all right, you go in here, you click on create ad. I'll show you. You click on create ad, create new. Um, yep, auction, clicks to website. That's fine. Um, you, you can see all the different options here. We don't need any of those. Uh, cool. Let's just say that we're doing that. This is my campaign. Cool. We're going to create a new, create a new, create a new. Uh, all right, so let's just go create, and we're going to go through this process. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of our audiences, and we're going to actually retarget them. So when we go through creating our new campaign, we first of all want to choose which page this is going to come from or which account we're going to use. We choose our account. We then choose to um, you know, add an advertisement of some kind. All right, so we've got to add in our advertisement. Then what we need to do after we've filled out this information with our image, our selected ad, all of that, um, we can choose to also track our conversions from clicks through that ad, so we can do that by clicking this. You should just have this ticked anyway. Um, then from there, when once we've done that, then we go into the advertising part, right? The advertising part, or the creating or targeting part, is where you actually choose your audience. So there's these things called custom audiences here, all right? We can browse through our custom audiences. Now, these are either customer lists that have been uploaded or their pixel advertising campaigns. Many of them are pixel advertising campaigns. Say, for example, the Runner Webinar audience, this is a retargeting campaign. Um, I did a launch of uh, Runner Webinar recently. We have a Runner Webinar audience. I've been retargeting them for the last 90 days. So I could retarget those particular people. So basically, our pixels are listed here. All right, our pixels are listed here. So you'll have a URL that's listed here, or you'll be able to actually um, set up your particular audience as you want it through here. Now, if you wanted to, and this has changed a little bit since I was last in here, but if you wanted to, you can also, and I'd, I'd remove this as well, you wouldn't want to geo-target, you'd probably want to have worldwide. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and you could um, you know, create a new custom audience, and you could choose from uh, different audiences that you have already. So create a list from people who visit a specific website. Um, yep, anyone who visits your website, people who visit a specific website, and you can actually create a, um, a pixel here for a particular domain. Um, so there's many ways of doing it, but this is basically uh, the core of it. Choose where, choose a domain. If you've got traffic coming from your domain, it'll be listed here. Choose that domain. 
create a name for that audience, and then click create audience, and then you can retarget that audience. That's basically how it works. Um, it is a little bit confusing, and what you really need is a step-by-step -step walkthrough um, going through all of this, and there's some training that'll help you to do that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. Okay, cool. Let me f just find um, that retargeting course for you. One sec. I'll just go ahead and locate it. All right. Now, I've found um, one particular resource that might be quite handy, but I'm just trying to figure out, find out where that um, training is. One second. Okay, it looks like it's closed. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a resource for that and I'll send it out when the webinar is, um, is sent out, the recording is sent out. Uh, now, Daniel, yes, a retargeting audience only lasts about 90 days. Um, they've got a setting in here. Now, I don't believe you can set it for an unlimited period of time. Uh, I believe it's for 90 days and then that peop those people will drop off. Oh, no, here we are. No, you can put it from an unlimited point of time if you want. So you can unlimited, uh, you can set it for an unlimited time if you really want. But on average, I usually do 90 days. The reason being that 90 days is a good amount of time for people to make a decision. If they haven't made a decision before, you know, 90 days or after 90 days, um, then it's, you know, you've stored them for long enough. Uh, some campaigns I've created audiences in though that have stayed, um, audiences that have stayed in there. And in those particular occasions, you know, you can keep advertising different offers to those people if you want. Ah, oh, 180 days. Cool. Thanks, Wolfgang. All right. Couldn't find that. Uh, 180 days. So retargeting, you can, your max time is 180 days. Now, you get charged for every time that the ad is clicked. So um, if the – actually, no, you get, you get charged based on how many people or how many times the ad, ad is shown. So it's basically done by impression. So um, if you've got a retargeting audience, it will be dependent on how many – um, ads you have running and you'll get charged on uh, how many people have actually gone through and or how many people have been shown their ad uh, inside of Facebook. Now Marty, yep, for Facebook Pixel, the one that I showed you here, it's only going to show people inside of Facebook, but they're the only ones that will be targeted. All right, any more questions? Let me know in the chat if, um, if you have any more questions that I can uh, answer or if you'd like to see anything else.
Um, Brad, there shouldn't be a delay in setting the pixel. It should be that once the pixel is um, done, once the pixel has gone through, uh, that the person then is retargeted. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think there's a way of showing if a tracking has been cancelled. I don't think there's any way of showing that. Um, ideally, everyone will get retargeted. If they're on Facebook, they'll get retargeted. Anyone who's clicked that's on Facebook will be retargeted. Yep, Stephen, you can use this for opt-in landing pages. I've used this um, for opt-in landing pages in the past. <laughs> Wolfgang, uh, there'll, be, there'll be a replay, there will be a replay. <laughs> Cool. Um, Solo Ads, perfect example of how you can use this uh, software. So a big thing about Solo Ads is testing, right? I've done a lot of Solo Ads in the past. Um, I don't use them so much now, but I've done a lot of them in the past. And the, the key to retargeting is testing. So you want to create two separate landing pages, two separate opt-in pages, basically. All right. Then what you do is you use the rotate link testing functionality in audience social to rotate different opt-in pages you pay for your solo ad you pay the person who's, who you're getting the solo ads off for say 100 visitors and then 50 visitors will go to one page 50 visitors will go to another and you can see which opt-in page gets the most opt-ins and that one is going to be the one that you'll want to use in future or test against another um, that's how you use the link testing. Now, all of those people that are doing, uh, you know, uh, are being sent as part of the solo ads, when they click on your link, they'll be able to be retargeted in Facebook. So you can retarget them with your opt-in, or you can retarget them with your, you know, another offer if you wanted to, a, a certain offer if you really wanted to. Um, targeting them with the opt-in itself would be fine. You're not going to get 100% of people signing up in that opt-in, but you will be able to retarget people, remind them to come back, and that'll help. What I'd recommend doing for an audience, uh, you know, a solo ad campaign is also retargeting people that get to the thanks page. So once they've actually opted in, redirect, uh, you know, retarget people that reach the thanks page. If you have an offer there, retarget them with that offer. Uh, yep, Brooks, the next webinar will be on audience social. There will be a replay to this webinar. I'll be mailing it out uh, today, actually. Today I'll be sending you an email with it. Or tomorrow, because it's 10, 10 p.m. there. So tomorrow it'll be sent out your time. Yes, so there's a Firefox delay of, of five seconds, correct. Can I put a retargeting pixel on Facebook ads? Yes, you can, Michael. Facebook actually has a way of doing that, so they actually will retarget people. Uh, you can actually add them automatically to a, a um, retargeting list, but uh, you know, if you want to do that for Google, you know, Google AdSense, for example, you can do that. Yep, you can retarget based on the ad. Would this be good to set up for an Amazon product page? Yes. Now, if you're uh, you know, selling as an affiliate, you're selling uh, you know, um, products over Amazon, set this up, all right? You can retarget your people really easily um, through uh, you know, the Amazon program, and you can retarget them uh, with your affiliate link, all right? You can retarget your affiliate link um, uh, through after, after pixeling people, basically. Advertise uh, that affiliate link, and you'll get paid when people buy. Now, Brad, yep, if the person scrolls away before the redirect happens, they might be retargeted, they might not be, right? You may have some people that will scroll away. Uh, hopefully, most people won't. Um, if they do scroll away, then there's nothing we can do about that. Um, Greg, to get into the program, you first of all need to log in, and then after you've logged in, then you'll see a code that you need to enter in. Um, that is where you do it. So you need to log in first, and then you enter in the code. Cool. Can I retarget people that visited somebody else's page, not mine? You can, as long as they've clicked your link. They need to click your link. If they don't click your link, then uh, you know you can't. It's everyone who clicks your link you can retarget. It doesn't matter which website they're going to. Cool. Um, if you set up one of your URL uh, Amazon product pages in one of your uh, product website, I'm assuming 
the same product set up in two different places. How do you know which was the better method? How do you tell which product sale um, came from, uh, page a product came from? Now, if you're doing the same product on different landing pages through Amazon's affiliate program, um, you'll need a bit more tracking. You'll need to be able to uh, track that a bit more detailed. Now, there's other um, resources out there uh, such as um, Tracking 202. Um, if I'm correct, Tracking 202. Yeah, Tracking 202. What that'll do is um, it will allow you to figure out which um, uh, place that sale came from. If you go into Tracking 202, you'll need to set up tracking throughout each page. So it's a bit more complicated if you're if you're working with one particular product. Um, if it's an affiliate product, then again it's the same thing. If you're selling the same affiliate product through uh, different landing pages, it's going to be difficult to see uh, which ones actually made the sale. Um, so you'll need to track that with a, a tracking system like two, a tracking two hundred two. This is good tracking, you know, different Teespring T-shirts. You can test different Teespring T-shirts against each other or different products against each other. Um, but it, it is a bit more complex uh, if you want to use that re uh, that testing feature. It's a bit more complex if you're if you're targeting the same product. The retargeting pixel seven are good for one hundred and eighty days. Oh, Mario, what about the eight spots thing? I almost forgot. Okay, cool. So um, uh, I, I, I wasn't even sure if I was going to do this, but um, you've reminded me. So um, is this something that, that you want to learn about? I've got an eight. It's a, it's like a, it's a coaching program I'm starting tomorrow. It was actually for um, uh, MailX. Now, I don't know if you heard about MailX. MailX was a software that launched last week. I was invited on the webinar to talk about it. And um, the guys gave me an opportunity to show a, pro a training program that I'm doing. Now, this is a test training program. Uh, I'm doing a 60-day coaching program very soon. You know, it's in preparation for that, basically getting some feedback from people. It starts tomorrow at uh, – it's starting tomorrow at 10, 10 – PM. I believe it's the same time as today. No, 9 p.m. It's starting tomorrow at 9 p.m. So it's starting tomorrow at 9 p.m. If you want to be able to go to that, um, put a uh, – you know, this, this is what's available basically. Um, put one in the box if you want to find out about this. The price is, um, is, is pretty low for what it is, but it also includes a bunch of other stuff. And I was gonna, I was gonna show it to you just because we have eight spots left. We, we had a hundred spots. I've got eight coaching spots still left. We had um, two webinars and the spots uh, almost sold out, but we still got eight, eight spots left. So I'm getting a few ones coming in. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's not training for MailX. It's live coaching for online marketing. I'll, I'll just show you what it, what it is, just so you can see. And if you want to get in, there's still there is um, there is how many places are left? Eight spots left. It starts tomorrow, and uh, yeah. So this is basically here. It's um, it's a Oh, this isn't it. Um, this is uh, – okay, so I'll give you some background first. Uh, this year I've sold more through affiliate marketing over JVZoo than um, any other seller, which has been really good. So the thought behind this was to help others to be able to do the same thing. I've been able to teach a couple of others, uh, a couple of friends of mine, one who's made now over a million dollars online. I, um, I took him from the stage that he was actually a teacher – in um in where was he he was a teacher a uh, student teacher i didn't uh, you know I, I showed him online marketing he wanted to do something new i showed him i introduced him to it coached him through launching his first couple of products and also showed him a bit about how the uh you know how everything worked and the process he should take to start making money um, now he he regularly does uh, over a hundred thousand dollars in a month he's done a few months where he's done over a hundred thousand dollars he's done one launch that did over a million dollars and another friend of mine who came and visited me in Thailand in May last year, he, he wanted to quit his job at BMW and he took a big risk. He, he jumped out and said, you know, I'm going to spend, Sam, I'll come over for four weeks. I'll spend that time with you. We'll see what happens. And now he's been able to quit his job. He makes about over $1,000 a week most weeks. Now, I wanted to package what I showed them into a training course, a live training series, in the hope that others could do the same thing, that I could actually show you what I showed them exactly 
what I showed them um, live on a bunch of webinar calls and also, uh, you know, a tra inside of a training guide and um, arm you with the same products that I kind of armed them with to start off and, and, and get a bit of a head start. Um, so I'm, I'm organizing this for 100 people to start off with. It's going to be throughout the next four weeks and uh, it's going to cover a lot about online marketing. It's basically going to cover four main steps. Step one, how to create a giveaway product. Um, and now a giveaway product is for an opt-in. What I teach is what I've done, and that's um, going through generating a lead, a list of subscribers, okay, for whatever niche you're in, generating a list of subscribers through giveaway products, then creating a leads funnel that basically takes those people from the stage where they're opting in for free, and then after that, it sells them additional products. Then I show you how to generate traffic through that lead funnel, and then after that, how to do email marketing. Now, I'm going to cover a section after this on how to create your own products as well, because creating your own products is a great way to generate more leads. It's a great way to generate authority, so people want to download your free products as well. And there's a few other bits and pieces of, as to why you might, why, might want to do that. But there's basically a four-step training program. It's split up into four separate webinars that are going to be about one to two hours each. Uh, it's also going to include a guide, and I'll go through um, that as well. It's going to include four webinars. Uh, I'm going to go through what I do behind the scenes, I'm going to go through it from the perspective of someone starting out new. So a lot of what I do will actually be starting off fresh and I'll be taking the actions on the live call that I would be doing if I was starting from scratch. I'm going to be using a pen name for most of it where I'm actually going to be uh, listed as someone else and I'll go through the process of how I would start creating a product and I'll go through the process of generating leads. I'll go through the process also of creating a new product and how to find ideas for a new product. This is useful if you want to go out and start selling products online, digital products, digital software, all of that. So webinar number one is going to be how to create your first giveaway product, uh, where to find ideas for free giveaway products you can create, how to package those products to sell, a step-by-step -step guide um, you can use to create your first product. Key resources to finding the best niches to start a product in and much more. Webinar number two is how to create your leads funnel. Now, the leads funnel is where you'll actually have audience social fitting in a bit. Um, in the leads funnel, I'll be going into how to place your retargeting pixel. That'll be really big. And, um, and I'll also be going through some retargeting information. I won't be talking directly to audience social yet. That'll come in the fourth webinar. But this is basically setting up a, a place where people can opt in for free and you can sell and upgrade them to different products. Then webinar number three is generating traffic through your leads funnel. How to generate people, um, how to send people through your leads funnel. Where to get traffic, where to find people that want to buy from you, uh, you know, where to find your audience basically online and how to send them through. There's going to be a big Facebook component to this. There'll also be an affiliate marketing component to it as well. Then how to email your subscriber list moving forward. How to actually structure your emails, how to create offers that are going to be attractive, how to go ahead and create a product will be covered in this as well. And how to use audience social in your email marketing campaigns will be covered in this full webinar series as well. There's also affiliate Kickstarter that's included. Now affiliate Kickstarter is very, very detailed. And uh, you know, I know one or two people on the call have actually read this. It's very, very detailed. It goes through exactly what I do for my email marketing campaigns, exactly what's working right now. And you can read through it, figure out, you know, or find out what's working now. Okay, I wrote this about two months ago. It's very detailed. It goes through everything from my templates that I use, my emails, how I structure my emails, the tests that every product goes through in order for me to, you know, consider mailing for it. Where I looked, I looked at email for, and it's, it's best for online marketing. It will apply to other niches, but it's best for online marketing as well. And it covers, and you'll be able to see this on the page that I show you in just a moment. Now, I'm also going to include as part of this, because the biggest uh, problem that I found that people have is actually creating a free giveaway product. Put a one in the box if this is where you'd get stuck. Put a one in the box if um, you know you would not be sure how to create your first giveaway product. Uh, now, if you're not sure, I'm going to show you how. I've got a few ways of doing that. How to show you, uh, showing you how to get free products. Um, one of the ways that I taught uh, the guys that I brought up to do this is I actually told them to go to Udemy and upskill. All right. Um, Udemy is a great resource for upskilling. I use it all the time. I learned how to do Photoshop through that. I learned how to do Premiere Pro. I learned how to do uh, Adobe After Effects through through uh, my training in Udemy. So it teaches you new skills. You can find a new skill that you can learn and then create a giveaway around that. Um, however, 
if you want to give away product to get started and, and you're going to need one for this training, um, what I do is I actually give you some of my best, uh, you know, my best giveaway products. So um, one of the products that's generated me almost a thousand leads over the last few months has been 3,000 leads in 30 days. I updated in two or three places. I haven't done any marketing to this, uh, you know, after the first two, I think, first two to three hours of actually writing this, completing this guide. Um, I haven't done any more marketing for it. I created a, a landing page, an opt-in page, and I'll be showing you how to do that as well. And I created it, put it live on the website. I updated it in a few places, and then it's generated almost a thousand leads. I'll show you where those places were that I updated it to, and you can do the exact same thing um, with products of your own. And you can also use this as your free giveaway product. I rebrand it, and you can re-give it away. Now, you're going to get giveaway rights to Video Sales Blueprint. This is a giveaway product. It's a really attractive giveaway product. You can give away on your campaigns to generate leads, and you can use this on your opt-in campaigns, your solo ad campaigns. All of that can be done through this. Now, finally, um, let me ask you this. If I was to give or offer to give you today Social Post Suite in exchange for your email address, this is a software that allows you to um, generate leads inside of the newsfeed on Facebook, Put a one in the box if you'd be keen to do that. If you would give me that lead in order to get, um, uh, you know, you'd give me that opt-in in order to get a copy of Social Post Suite, the software that allows you to do generate leads right inside of the newsfeed in Facebook. You can customize it as you want. Put a one in the box if you'd say, yes, I would get that. Cool, pretty obvious, right? It's a good software. We sold this for $27. We sold 3,000 copies within about four days. Really popular piece of software. It hasn't hit the market since. Uh, I'm gonna offer giveaway rights to this. So you can do what I just said. Um, you can find an audience. You can give this away for free, whether it's solo ads, whether it's um, you know marketing over Facebook to an opt-in. You can give this away for free. This is your software to give away. You can sell it if you want, but think how easy it's going to be to generate leads. If you've got something like this, a high quality software you can give away for free to generate leads. Pretty cool. You'll be able to give this away and this will help you to get a head start in generating leads. Your own software cost us about $10,000 to develop and it's yours today um, to give away as part of it. You also get white label rights to Video Drill. Now, Video Drill is a YouTube marketing software. It allows you to spy on other YouTube videos, find out why they're successful, duplicate why they're successful. It also allows to tr uh, you to choose which videos you want to retarget over YouTube or target over YouTube with ads. And um, it's going to be really useful for your campaigns that you're ever, when you're advertising through YouTube using the Google Advertising Network. So you can use this as well. You can do retargeting through YouTube with the software as well. And you'll get white label rights to sell this as your own. You can sell this after getting a lead. You can sell it and make money from that um, that transaction. Now, you also get Social Post Manager, a, a social management software. It's like Hootsuite. Um, it allows you to update to Facebook. It allows you to generate leads from Facebook. It allows you to program updates, find information your audience is interested in. All of that it can be done through this software. So it's really useful as well. So all of this is included as part of this package today. Now, um, I did say for the first 10 only, this was on the last webinar today because there's only eight spots left. Um, I'm going to give eight spots to the 60-day coaching program as well. Uh, that will be, be happening in a few months. It will happen about one to two months after this, this program finishes, after affiliate Kickstarter finishes. Um, this this coaching program will start as well. It's basically a program where I send you action steps to take on a daily basis for 60 days so you can follow along. And it's, it's taking a long time to complete because it's actually really detailed. But you'll be able to go um, you know, one, one day after the other and, um, and you'll be able to take the steps that I show you and become successful from doing that. So uh, really cool for the, you know, if you're part of the next day, you'll be able to get this today. So there's eight spots to this. Today, it's not going to be $497. Um, there was 45 spots left on the last webinar. As you can see, I haven't changed it. I wasn't planning on, on doing this, but those spots were almost filled. We had 37 people that jumped in, so it means that there's eight spots left. So if you want to get access to the final eight spots today, put a one in the box right now. Put a one in the box if you'd like this. Turn $297 for all of that, those software you get, giveaway rights, you get um, the software as well to sell with white label rights, and you'll get live coaching. <clears throat> stepping you through the exact process that um, that we take and you should be taking in your business as well. Um, if you want to get access, put a one in the box. There will be eight spots. I'm seeing a number of ones come in. There'll be only eight spots left. 
it's on a timer. So um, once it's done with 100, that'll be it. It'll close down. You won't see a buy button because JVZoo will not show the buy button because it's set with a limit. Um, so the this is all included again. Um, you get uh, you know all of these softwares as part of this as well. Okay, so if you want to get access, I think these spots will fill up today. Um, if they don't, then this is probably the last time that I'll be advertising this. The training starts tomorrow, so um, you need to get in tonight. It won't be available on the replay. Uh, you, you won't be able to get, uh, get access to this on the replay. So um, if you want to get access, this is the URL right here, http colon slash slash affkickstarter.com. I'll type it in chat box as well. And um, this is uh, available here as well. Kickstarter.com. So if you go to this URL, you'll see a bunch of information about the training package. It's all listed there. And you'll also be able to then um, choose, uh, you know, which, uh, whether you want to get access. Um, it's $297 today. This will be increasing to $497 if I do it again. Um, I'm not likely to do it again this year. It'll probably be next year if we do it again. Uh, so if you want to get access to this, this is what's available today. And uh, we have eight spots for it. Um, once those eight spots are gone, that's it. So um, really important, once you've got in, just put an I'm in in the box. Put an I'm in in the box. Uh, so one, I can identify who you are. And two, so I, I can keep track of how many spots are actually left for other people that are interested. Cool. Thanks, Mario. No problem. Awesome. All right, so if you have any questions about this um, software as well, let me know. I know that there's a number of you are going in there as well and getting access. It comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee. And, uh, whoa, Rick, you're quick. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Rick is in. Fantastic, Rick. I look forward to um, to meeting you, and, and uh, we'll be connecting after this webinar. I'll be sending you an email. Um, the process from here is that once you've got access, you basically – get the download link immediately to all of the software. You can start white labeling your software. You get the guide instantly as well. And you get a registration link to the, all the webinars. I'll email you as well. Um, probably tomorrow morning, you'll get an email from me with all the details of the upcoming webinars, what dates and times they're in, so you, you'll know when to prepare. And um, that should be really quite cool. So fantastic, Rick. Awesome. Um, also, let me know if you have any questions, if there's any questions about this. It comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, 60 days you've got to decide. We want to make sure we get this right. Uh, the main reason is that I'm really working hard on the 60-day coaching program, and I need to know um, how fast we can progress through this package, and also um, if there's anything that's not clear so I can fix it um, when I'm actually going through the 60-day coaching program and building that. So it'll be really good to have you on. It'll be really good to um, to see uh, as well, um, you know, get a good insight into, into what people are um, – uh, thinking for it. So um, that'd be cool as well. Awesome. So if there's any more questions, let me know in the chat. And uh, otherwise, we will uh, look to wind up this webinar. It's quite late. I know it's uh, quite late for a lot of people. So um, uh, we've covered, I think, everything that I wanted to cover today. And uh, yeah, it's good. Now, see, it says Mail X Email Marketing Kickstart, Kickstart Coaching Program when you go through to get access. I can see there's six more spots left, so two people have got in so far. Um, now, when you see that, when you see that, uh, uh, it means that that's right. That's the correct course because I, I was um, I was previously promoting it on uh, a webinar for Mail X, and uh, it was specific to Mail X, um, but yeah, it, it won't. They won't make any difference. Uh, cool. Uh, Wolfgang, it's 9 a.m. here in uh, Russia. I'm in uh, no visit. Uh, actually, I'm in Academia at Oc right now in the office. Uh, so it's 9 a.m. After this, I'm off to – they've got a Victory Day parade here in Russia. It's a, it's a holiday here. It's called Victory Day. So everyone everyone's off work. No one's able to work. Uh, I had to sneak into the office. <laughs> and um, it's a, basically a big – Big parade that celebrates, I believe, the end of um, World War Two, but I'm not 100% sure. I need to check that. So um, I'll be finding that out at uh, at this parade, no doubt, <laughs> um, uh, which should be fun. So uh, that's happening today as well. <laughs> yeah, Wolfgang Slakers. 
<laughs> funny. Uh, so there, yeah, it'll be cool. Um, and uh, I won't understand anything that's going on, by the way. Uh, I'm still, I still don't understand uh, most Russian uh, words. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I'm not Russian at all. No, um, uh, I am here. Uh, my wife uh, is is Russian. She she lives. She used to live in Russia early on. She moved out early on, but um, I, I I went to Russia to visit. We had a holiday here, and I really liked it. I like this particular place we're at now. Akademgorodok. To give you a bit of background, is a um, it's a uh, Alicia's uh, Russian. Ah, <laughs> Strasvitya. <laughs> Cool. Hopefully, I said that right. So, um, uh, where, where I'm in, in now, Akademgorodok, it's a, um, it's a, uh, basically the digital hub of um, of much of what happens here when it comes to sciences. So they've got fast internet. The price here, the living uh, costs are really low. Um, you know, meals are about two to three dollars, uh, probably about two dollars American. You can catch a taxi across town, and it'll it'll cost you, you know, one to two dollars. So it's um, uh, yeah, it's it's really um, uh, yeah, it's it's a cool place. It's a really cool place. It's in the forest of Siberia, and um, yeah, I just I, I really like this place. We're staying here for a few months, and um, yeah, it's it's a really it's it's very diverse. Russia is very a lot a lot to see, a lot of different parts of Russia to visit. We're doing a visit to Baikal um, very soon, and then another visit across the east of Russia, um, uh, right right across the other side, the far east of Russia. We're going to go over there at some point. So there's a bit of background. Um, ah, Greg, now I'll um, send out the retargeting re uh, resource um, very soon. It'll be when I send out the email. I'm just going to talk to my friend, and I'm going to see if he can re-give uh, us access. And uh, yeah, Alicia, yep, uh, lots of... Uh, lots of um, yeah, a Russian woman are uh, very nice, very good, definitely. Um, I have to say my wife's Russian, obviously, but um, uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely, um, definitely, yeah, think so. Yeah. Uh, Stephen, no, no skyscrapers here. <laughs> no chance. Um, there is. It's very small place. It's a very small place. Uh, not many people around town. Um, there is one particular IT center that's quite big and popular um, that a lot of American and international companies um, uh, work from. Uh, yeah. Oh, welcome, um, Jet Sander. Fantastic. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Jet Tendra. Jet Tendra. Awesome to have you on board with the coaching program. And I've got you on the list here. You've um, got in on time, which is great. And I can see here we now have um, five more spots left. Yeah, yeah, keep going east and we'll hit Canada. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Brooks, no, I haven't seen Edward Snowden. I've been to Moscow, but have not been, uh, not, not, I'm, I'm sure Edward Snowden is uh, hidden away somewhere um, where not many people probably see him. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, it looks like that brings us to the end of the webinar. All the questions have been answered. So I want to say thank you for coming on today. I hope this was informational, useful, and welcome to those who have come on on the coaching program. If you do want to get access, there's still time before midnight tonight. If you want to get access, it's $297, and it will close down at midnight. Uh, we'll, we'll be starting it tomorrow, so uh, welcome to those that are on board, and look out for a, um, a, another uh, email coming very soon. Oh, Rick, very cool. Uh, whereabouts in Russia? I'm, I'm assuming it'll be around the Black Sea. Is that correct? It's, um, yeah, very, very high up here. Awesome. Uh, yep, uh, Wolfgang, I'll have that replay out. It'll be tomorrow morning your time. That'll, that'll come. So uh, very soon you'll, um, you'll get uh, that. Awesome. And cool. Uh, Mario, thank you. I'll check that as well. Ah, Alicia, um, now the white label to sell software, which which white label is that? You can still purchase. Yep, you can still purchase. Um, the upgrades, I'm thinking of talking about the upgrades. Now, the upgrades for 
um, audience social, they are still available. So if you go to the um, upgrade page, you should be able to still get access to that. So, um, yeah, awesome. Cool. Fantastic, Alicia. Ah, awesome. Um, I'll check that as well, uh, Wolfgang. Perfect. All right. Thank you again for coming on. I will talk to you again soon. This is Sam Becker. Thanks for getting access to Audience and Social and spending this time on it with me today. And I uh, hope you have a good night uh, wherever you are or good day wherever you are as well. Thanks again. And I'll talk to you again soon. I'll see you later.